Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm sharing with you guys some different ways you can use vases or glassware. You guys, I love picking glassware or vases or things like that up at yard sales because a lot of these items I picked up for only a quarter, which that's amazing. Um, you can also get items from Dollar Tree. They're only $1.25, and I think that is a really great deal for uh, glassware as well. This is also a collab with my friend Nicole from the Weeks Nest. You guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to her. She is amazing. She is the most creative Dollar Tree DIYer that I know. She can take canvases and make them out of all kinds of things. She is also doing vases, glassware, vases. I wanna say she says vases. Could be wrong. But anyways, you guys, let's jump in to the video. This first vase I'll be redoing is this white vase. I love the color of this already, but I'm just gonna be using this Rust-Oleum Stone Textured Spray. And I love using this, and I liked the color that this vase already was. So I'm just putting this stone texture over the top. If you want it to be a different color on the bottom, spray paint it a different color first, and then add this stone texture. It does take a while to dry, um, so do keep that in mind. Uh, it does take longer than normal spray paints, I feel like. So I usually give this a few hours or even a little bit longer, and then it will dry texturize which I think it is I think this is such a cool spray paint it is on the pricey side I think it's ten dollars a can but a little bit does go a long way uh, so you can probably do this to multiple uh, projects but this is what it looks like when it's done I just picked up some eucalyptus from Dollar General to put inside of this vase <music> This one is a large mason jar. Maybe it was a pitcher of some sort. I've had this for years and years. I think I got this from Goodwill. I think it was three bucks, two or three dollars. I thought it was a good price, but I honestly have just kept this as a vase and thrown greenery in it or used it to style projects. It's been a long time since I've actually used it. So I decided to spray paint it black and this is just the ultra matte black spray paint by Rust-Oleum. Uh, if you guys are not new, you guys know that I love my really dirty uh, sandals along with my fuzzy socks. So there you go. Um, so once this was dry, I'm going to be using this Waverly chalk paint in steel and elephant along with these sponges. And I'm just going to be sponging on these colors to make it look more galvanized. This is such an easy way to have a texturized vase without it being super textury. And whether textury is a word or not, uh, forgive me if it's not, but I think it is uh, quite a word to be used for this. And I just cut up the sponges a little bit smaller than you saw because I can use this for multiple projects. But this is just another fun way that you can uh, redo a vase or a pitcher or any type of glass product. But I thought this was kind of fun and this dries so fast because you're barely putting any paint on it to begin with. So... There you go. So I just added the darker color, which is the elephant, and then I'm adding this steel color to the top. And I am going to show some of that like black through because I obviously wanted it more like a galvanized, but like a fun textured type picture. How many times am I going to say textured? going to see here that I am 100% greenery person. I'm not for flowers and florals in my home, but I do love a good greenery. This eucalyptus, I think this is eucalyptus. This is from Walmart and I think it's just like $2 for a bunch of this, but um, I love the way this one turned out. This picture was from a estate sale and it was only $1.50 and it is not textured or anything like that, which is definitely what I was going for because I did not want this like barn or anything showing through. I'm just going a little basic and boring with this one. And I'm going to be using a flat matte uh, white spray paint for this. Then I got these, this like bells and whistles transfers. These are from Dixie Bell, but I found them on Amazon as well, along with Etsy. You can find these anywhere, but Dixie Bell is a uh, company who sells them and I will link them in the description box below. Uh, but I'm just using these rub on 
fund transfers. I love these. I think they are so easy to use. This one was a little tricky uh, just because the picture was just such an odd shape, but I kind of just went from one side of the transfer to the other. So I would not mess this up because these are a little expensive, but you can get a ton of projects out of this. I think it was like $26 or $27 for the roll of transfers, but you can do so many different projects with this that I think that's still a really great deal when you have at least like 20 or 15 different transfers to use. Then I'm just throwing some lamb's ear in here and calling it a day. glass piece. I clean this up and it is actually not green. It looks green, but it is 100% clear, which is crazy. 309 from Goodwill. And I'm just adding another rub on transfer. This was actually from Redesign Prima. Prima. I'm probably going to say that wrong. Um, and I will link those in the description box below too. But I love the rub on transfers from Dollar Tree. They just don't seem to be coming out with a ton of new ones. Plus these are a lot larger and I think they look more high end. But I had to use this piece because I actually have some cotton stems from Dollar Tree from the fall time a few years back. And I just want to do something with them. And since this says organic cotton and wool, I thought this would be perfect to put some cotton stems in. So that is what I did. right here was only 25 cents and I'm using the what color is this I think it's just called moss by rust-oleum and I'm just spray painting this it is like a satin I like the satin and matte finishes for spray paint I'm using these beaded garland and I'm just attaching it to the vase and adding of course greenery into this this is just some eucalyptus from Walmart but I love just adding a little bit of beads to this and I think this looks so stinking cute and that bead tassel was from Dollar General but you can actually just make your own but I'm loving this I love these colors together I think it looks so pretty project I'm using this vase this was 25 cents and this picture frame was only 50 cents so this cost me under a dollar which is pretty exciting and I'm just using that matte finish white spray paint this I think is from my local hardware store but I usually use the rust-oleum color I was just trying to use up some spray paints that I've had for a while because I'm not really sure if spray paint goes bad after a while but Anyways, we just had to get it going and it was almost gone anyways, but I was able to finish this vase and this, uh, it's a sign, um, but it's going to be a tray. So I'm just going to glue the vase right to the bottom of the tray. And then I'm just going to be adding some fun pieces to the top. I have a wreath from Dollar General that I'm be showing you in a second. And then I just uh, spray painted this bull or this cow and you will see in a different DIY video, uh, about the cow, which is, is a really easy DIY. It's not finished yet, but I thought this looked really cute in the center. Uh, but you guys, that is it. This is another way you can use a vase is to make a fun little tray. And if you fill the vase with rocks or something like that, you can actually probably put a cake or something on here if you used uh, spray paint for food. Anyways, that's it, you guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, consider sticking around and subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out Nicole's video. Her video will be in the description box below. But that is it, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.